Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make this ice encrusted frozen planet. I provided this frosty ice image for you to download. Its link is located in the video description or project files. Open a new document by going to File and New. Make the size 1920 by 1080 pixels and a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. To fit it onto your screen, press Ctrl-0 on a PC or Command-0 on a Mac. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, click the small double box icon or press D on your keyboard. We'll fill it with the foreground color by pressing Alt-Delete on a PC or Option-Delete on a Mac. Next, we'll create a star field. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 80%, Gaussian, and Monochromatic. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it by 0.3 pixels. Open your Levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Slide your input black and white to locations that result in a star field you like. For this example, I chose 204 and 222, but feel free to experiment with the amounts. Open the ice image and go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. The amount is 100%. Click OK and repeat the filter by pressing Ctrl or Command F. Open your elliptical marquee tool, go to a corner, and press and hold Shift as you drag diagonally down to the opposite corner. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut the image out and copy it to its own layer. To get it onto your star field background, press V to open your move tool, and press and hold Shift as you drag it up onto the tab of the star field. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down onto the image and release. Pressing Shift keeps it centered. Press and hold Shift again as you drag it straight down to approximately this much. Let's sharpen the planet by going to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. Make the amount 82% and the radius 3.4 pixels. Next, we'll add a cold blue color. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. Check Colorize and make the Hue 225. Next, we'll add an outer and inner glow to the rim. Double click on the thumbnail to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow and the color box. Pick White and press Enter or Return. Make the opacity 60% and the size 35 pixels. Click Inner Glow and the color box. Pick White again, then press Enter or Return. Make the opacity 100% and the size 75 pixels. Next, we'll add a soft, bright glow to the inside top of the planet. Go to the thumbnail and press Ctrl or Command to make a selection of the planet's shape. Open your brush tool and make the size 800 pixels and a hardness of 0%. Invert the foreground and background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. Place your cursor on the top edge of the planet and click down once. Next, we'll cloak most of the planet in shadow. Make a new layer and go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it 50 pixels. We'll fill the selection with black and since black is the background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Then delete the selection. We'll slide the shadow straight down and then enlarge it. First, 
Press Z to open your Zoom tool and press and hold Alt or Option as you click down on your image a few times. Press Control or Command T to open your Transform tool. Press and hold Shift and drag it straight down. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag it out. Continue to position and resize it until you're happy. I enlarged it approximately 160%. To accept the transform, press Enter or Return. To fit it back on your screen, press Control or Command-0. Next, we'll backlight the top rim of the planet. Make the background active and make a new layer above it. Open your brush tool and make the size 1100 pixels. Center your cursor over the top rim and click down once. The last step is to add a lens flare. Make a composite snapshot of your image by clicking on the top layer and pressing Control Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Go to Filter Render and Lens Flare. Click on the Lens Flare and drag it to the top rim. Make the brightness 75% and the lens type 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.